guys, I really like Takis. They're not my favorite chips, of course, but I still enjoy them. And I want to be able to take them into class and eat them. Unfortunately, my teacher doesn't allow us to eat in class. Well, how can I sneak these into class? Well, if you have a pencil case like this one, you're good to go. Actually, you're gonna need two of these. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, pranksters, one of the main concerns that I get from you guys usually when it comes to Takis and sneaking them into class is that you guys don't want your chips touching your crayons because basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our crayons to cover up our Takis. But some of you guys are picky and you guys just don't want your crayons touching your food. And that's understandable, even though these are non-toxic, so you will not get sick. But still, you guys don't want your Takis tasting like crayons, right? So here's what we're gonna need for this hack, guys. Like I said, we need a pencil case like this one. The best thing about this pencil case is that I got it at Walmart on clearance for 10 cents. Great price, guys. And guess what? While I was at Walmart, I also got me another pencil case. And this one was also 10 cents. To me, this is a very clever way to sneak food into class. It doesn't necessarily have to be Takis. It can be any kinds of chips. It can be Pop-Tarts, anything that's flat. So right here, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna have to sacrifice this case. That's kind of painful, but again, it was only 10 cents. So there's not much that was wasted. I'm gonna take my scissors, guys, and I'm gonna cut it in half. So I'm gonna split this box in two. Okay. So this is the bottom right here, and this is the top. As far as the top, we do not need, so get rid of it. We only need the bottom. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're basically gonna stack the box with the crayons on top of this half box right here. Just like so. And it looks like a normal pencil case, right? It does, there's nothing fishy about this, right? You can't even tell if there's anything wrong with this. But if you look inside, there's a gap right there, guys, where you guys can put your chips. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull it out, open up my Takis, and start putting them in there. They gotta be super flat though, guys. You cannot stack Takis on top of each other. So, spread them out, make sure they're flat. Make sure that there's no Takis on top of other Takis. All right, that'll do. I can actually put more in there, but this is just the example. And look, now I put the box with the crayons on top. And that is it, guys. Your crayons and your Takis will not touch at all, so you don't have to worry about your Takis tasting like crayons. See? From a bird's eye view, you can't even see the Takis from the top. And when you want your Takis, you just lift up the top box, and they'll be right there, guys, at your disposal. You put it back, and that'll go back into hiding. Nobody will know but you that they're there. How clever is this, right? So you'll definitely fool your teachers and your classmates with this hack. Seriously guys, out of all the methods that I've been coming up with for the last couple years, this one right here is one of the best ones because it's very simple to do, it's very cheap to do, and again, your food will not be touching anything. It will not be touching any school supplies but the actual box, and that box should be clean. But anyway guys, you can be in class doing your work. You get hungry, you're craving your Takis. Just lift up the top box while holding the bottom one, and there they are. How clever is that? This right here is a very, very large pen. Now when it comes to writing utensils, guys, as long as they work, I don't think your teacher should mind the size of your pencil, pen, or whatever it is that you're using. For example, this one I got at the dollar store, and it's a Paw Patrol. I've never really watched that. It's got a Dalmatian here, and I have one. So I, it was appealing to me, so I got this. Now this pen, we're gonna modify to sneak some M&M's Meanies into class. It's very clever, I really, really love this hack right here. And notice that the M&M's Meanies that I got are blue, just like the pen. Well, that is important, and you will see why. All right, so here's the pen. If you compare it to a normal pen, of course, there's a huge difference. Look at that. It's humongous compared to this little pen. But still, like I said, you're still allowed to bring these into school because they are a school supply and they still work as a school supply. They just happen to be big. 
Now, if you have one of these, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Paw Patrol one. You can definitely do this little life hack. What I like about this pen right here is that you can undo both ends. For example, we twist off the tip and inside you have the ink and the spring and all that stuff. And it's pretty long actually, this ink tube. So there's one piece and then the top, which is the clicker, we can pull off as well. This also has the clip on there. Now as far as this tube right here, which is the body of the pen, we do not need because we are going to replace this. And our replacement will be <laughs> this right here guys, M&M's Meanies. The container is just the perfect size as far as length to make a good replacement. And just so you guys can see inside, I have M&M's Meanies. This is a brand new container. Alright, since we definitely want this pen to be able to work in class, we are gonna have to trim off the ink. Yeah, we do not need the spring. So let's put the ink back in there. See it comes out. This is where you determine where to cut. So basically whatever sticks out has to go. So that part sticks out and I'm gonna have to cut it. Take your scissors and just make your cut. Just like that. So now that we trimmed off the ink, we are gonna glue the container of M&Ms with the tip of the pen. For example, like this. And for that, of course, I'll be using some hot glue. I'm gonna spread it around the edge and then join it with the container. And it's already looking like a pen, right? <laughs> so far, so good, guys. Now, as far as the top, which is the clicker and the clip, we do need to trim off a little bit so that we're able to glue this onto our new pen. So with a cutting tool or a power tool, make sure you get rid of the bottom. As far as the clicker, guys, I trimmed off a little bit, so now it'll fit even better on top of the container of M&M's Minis. So once we know it fits, we're gonna glue it on. So we're gonna spread some hot glue around it, just like that. Our new pen is ready. I chose to keep the label of the M&M's Minis but you guys don't necessarily have to do that. You guys can just peel it off and it'll be just a blue pen. But I thought it was cooler to leave the label on there and it looks like a regular pen, right? And it even works like a pen. Look how easy it is to get some M&Ms. Just pop the top open. Simple as that, guys. Now, once the, all the M&Ms are gone, it doesn't mean that you can't use this pen anymore. Of course, you can still write with it, but you can refill it with anything you want. For example, some Reese's Minis. These are just the perfect size, guys, and they slide in really easy. Look at that. It's full of Reese's Minis, and I just close it, and that's it. Let's see how many were in there. Oh, there's still some left in there. You can even put some Oreo Minis in there. Choose your snack wisely. Whatever you can fit in there, put it in there, guys. You shouldn't be hungry in class. Look at this pen. It works like normal. So, if I'm using this in class, nobody should suspect anything. Yes, it draws attention, and yes, they will question it, but it's a pen because you can clearly see that it works like a pen. But in reality, you don't need this pen. You need what's inside, which is your candy or any snack that you put in there. So just pop it open like this. And my M&Ms are still in there. See? You can eat little by little in class and it'll get you through the whole day or at least a couple hours till you can find a snack. But this definitely works, guys. And yes, I left the M&Ms label on there because I think it looks pretty cool. Don't you guys agree? <laughs> if you do, thumbs up is appreciated, guys. I'm telling you guys, this is very clever. Whoever invented this pen wanted us to sneak food into class. 